In this video, I will teach you how to create a talking AI avatar step-by-step. Step. We will go from nothing to a fully functional talking avatar. This is a complete guide, beginner friendly, and the best part is that it's really simple and completely free. First, we will create the avatar. Then, we will generate the script. After that, we will generate the voiceover, and then we will animate our character. We will use multiple alternatives for each step. I will also give you a special gift, which you will love, plus some tips and tricks to improve the quality of your avatar through the video. The first step is to create the avatar. There are a lot of great AI image generators, but the best ones are Leonardo AI, DAL E3, and Juggernaut XL. I will show you how to use all these tools, so you can decide which one fits you better. I will show you how to create avatars in three styles, realistic fantasy digital art and anime, so you can decide which one matches your style better. Let's start with Leonardo AI. If you don't have an account already, you can make a free one with just your email address, and it will give you 150 tokens for free every day. The link will be in the description. First, go to image generation, and let's write the prompt. A stunningly beautiful woman, red hair and intense blue eyes, facing the camera, straight body, futuristic, behind a desk, straight face and body, center of room, city view window, cyberpunk, neon, hacker, red jacket, streamer, geeky. Then, we make sure that the aspect ratio is 16 by 9, and then we generate. It takes a few seconds. I will include all the prompts in the description. This is the image. It's a great AI avatar. I really like her style. Now let's make the anime variant. Just add anime style to the prompt and generate it. Wow, she is lovely. This is another great avatar. The next variant is the fantasy digital art style. Just write fantasy art style and generate it. Those are the three variations that we have. Another way that I recommend to add variation is to use other models. Now let's use Microsoft Copilot Designer to create our AI avatar. It's a free application. You just need to log in with your Microsoft account. It lets you make 15 fast generations but offers unlimited normal speed generations. All the links will be in the description. Just use the same prompt that we used last time and click on Create. It takes about 10 seconds to generate. It makes great images. Just watch out for the hands and make sure that the hands look good. Now let's create the woman. Use the prompt provided for the woman and click on Create. The woman also looks really good. I really like how red and blue contrast. It's really important to have contrasting colors when creating the avatar. The next option for creating our avatar is DAL-E3 on ChatGPT. But before continuing, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. Let's use the same prompt that we used last time, but this time we need to include the aspect ratio. To do that, write at the beginning 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Also, if you include gaming PC at the end, it will generate a more gaming vibe for the avatar. Wait for the images to generate. These two are great, that gaming vibe is really here. Let's create the anime style now. Just add that to the prompt and generate it. The anime style is also great, but I prefer the previous one. Now, for the fantasy art style, just write that and generate it. The fantasy art style is my favorite. The first one is also pretty good. And this is the female version. I like it. It has a really good futuristic style. All the prompts are in the description. Our last choice for making our avatar is Juggernaut XL with Fucus. First, bump up the image number to four. Stick with the default styles, Fucus V2, Fucus Enhance, and Fucus Sharp. Make sure you've selected Juggernaut XL in the Model tab. Now paste the given prompt and generate it. This prompt works well for all image generators. Juggernaut XL is good for making realistic avatars. Let's make an anime style now. Update the prompt, then choose Fantasy Art and Digital Art in the Style section, and generate it. As you can see, the style is less realistic. But to make it truly anime style, we need another model. Anima Pencil XL is perfect for this. Choose that one and generate it. Now, a really important tip is to keep the face and body straight or the animation won't look good. Increase the straight body weight to 1.5 by selecting the text, then pressing Ctrl plus up five times. Add the Fucus Masterpiece style and generate it. This style includes things like 4K, Ultra Detail, Masterpiece. Normally the images look better with this style. 
Now, another great way to make our avatar look better is by using a pose from another image. To do this, we'll use the image prompt. First, turn on input image, then go to image prompt and upload your pose image there. Turn on advanced and choose Pyrocanny. It's important to lower the weight to 0.5. To make sure we don't get any NSFW content, simply write NSFW in the negative prompt, then generate it. Now, if you want a fantasy digital art style, just use these six styles along with the DynaVision XL model and generate it. You can find the link for the model in the description. I really like the style of these avatars. They look like they're from a game, very high tech and futuristic. I've put together a Google Drive folder containing 50 avatars that I've generated. I think they look great and would be perfect for you. You can download your preferred avatar if you don't want to generate it. I am giving all of them for free. Feel free to use them in your channel. This also lets you follow along with the video. All I ask is for you to like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and enables me to create more content like this. Now let's create the script. First, choose the topic you'd like the avatar to talk about. There are great options for creating the script. First, we will use ChatGPT. Start by asking for the creative schema for a video, talking about your topic. Wait for it to generate. Then we should ask it to expand on each section. For example, ask, write the script for the introduction. When it finishes generating, just write. Continue with section one and continue like that with all the sections. A great tip here is to use the script as a base, but you should read it and generate your script based on that script. If you just keep what the AI wrote, normally it won't be as engaging as a real person writing it and it won't have your personality. So I highly recommend that you write the script. Let's create the script using Tugan AI. The best option to make a YouTube video from this platform is the YouTube to newsletter feature. Click on that, then paste the video link and select the option called Punchy Human. It writes more like a human. Wait for the platform to process the video and then generate it. It creates a three minute script. Remember, this is just the idea for the script. You should expand on it and add your personal touch or it won't perform as well. The link for this tool is in the description. This tool is also great for repurposing content. So after you create your video, just add it here and it will create a newsletter, a Twitter thread, a LinkedIn post, a simple tweet, an Instagram post, or a Facebook post. Then you can link all of that back to the video, basically creating a funnel to your YouTube video. Remember, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll answer all of them. The next step is the voiceover. We will use Eleven Labs. I consider them the best AI voiceover platform and they have a good forever free plan. The paid plan though is a great option and is on promotion at the time of filming this, $1 for the first month. The link for this tool is in the description. First, go to the voices section, then go to the voice library and sort by most users. Normally, those are the best voices. Then filter by gender, so we only get female voices. This Joanne voice is great. Let's listen to the sample. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Her voice is so soft and lovely. If you liked it, add that voice to the library. I will do that. Then go to the speech section. The first thing that we should select is the model. I will use 11 Multilingual V2. To my liking, it's the one that delivers the best results and it allows you to write in 29 different languages. Then select the newly added voice, Joanne. Then in the text section, paste the script. A tip here is, in order to have the best quality, we should not generate more than 1500 characters each time. So if your script is larger, divide it into sections. Let's listen to Joanne. The next step is to generate the animation. But before continuing, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. I'll teach you how to create animations using three different tools and then we'll compare their results. We'll start with Sad Talker and afterward explore other options that don't require any installation. First, you'll need to install Automatic 1111, which is the interface for stable diffusion. I'll provide a link for downloading and installation instructions in the description. Once installed, you'll see a screen similar to this. Navigate to the Extensions tab, select Install from URL, and paste the URL from the Sad Talker GitHub repository. Click on Install, then move to the Installed tab. 
Ensure that Sad Talker is enabled. Click on Apply and Restart UI. After the UI reloads, find the Sad Talker tab and upload your image in the Upload Image section. Then upload the audio in the Input Audio section. We'll keep the default pose because it's already good, but feel free to experiment with different poses. We'll set the face model resolution to 512 to enhance the face quality. For pre-processing, we'll select Dixful, which allows for better face movement and reduces glitches. Usually, when using full or Xful modes, you should activate still mode to prevent the face from moving excessively, which can look unnatural. If you have a powerful GPU, set the batch size generation to two. If your GPU is less powerful, set it to one. Finally, activate the GFP GAN enhancer to improve the video quality and click on generate. Once the generation is complete, you'll be able to preview and download the video. Let's watch the video. Before continuing, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. Now, let's try HeyGen, which I believe is the best option if you prefer not to install any software. It allows you to complete all the steps directly on the platform, which is incredibly convenient and saves a lot of time. First, we'll start with the AI script. Simply enter the topic you want your video to cover in the designated field and click on Generate Script. Once the script is generated, review it, and if it meets your approval, you can proceed to create the video. I won't do this step, but it's great to have the option. Moving on to the Avatar section, you're presented with three choices, Instant Avatar, Photo Avatar, and Studio Avatar. In my opinion, the Studio and Instant Avatars, which are optimized for the platform, are the best options. However, we'll use Photo Avatar because we're uploading our own avatar. Note that this platform truly excels when utilizing their avatars. To upload your own avatar, click on the prominent Photo Avatar banner. Our avatar will appear with a large circle around it. Although this design is usable, I prefer to see the full image, so we'll click on Edit Avatar. Change the view mode to original and click on Save as New. To use this new avatar, click on the avatar icon. A pop-up will appear. Select Create with New AI Studio. When asked for the aspect ratio, I'll choose Landscape, but feel free to select any option. Then, you'll be prompted to try the new AI Studio. Click on Try New AI Studio. The link for this tool is in the description. The next step involves clicking on Script where you'll write your script and select the desired voice. There's also an option to upload your own voice file. If you're satisfied with the audio, click on Submit. The system will then ask for confirmation before beginning the processing, which takes just a few seconds. I'll show the video later for comparison. Remember, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll make sure to answer all of them. Another excellent option is Vidno's AI. Start by navigating to the Avatars tab. Here, you can create your own avatar based on a video of yourself. However, for this demonstration, we're utilizing the talking photo feature. Begin by uploading your AI avatar photo. The upload process only takes a few seconds. A standout feature of Vidno's AI is the ability to remove the background from the photo. Although I'll keep the background in this case, it's a valuable option to have. Next, you'll need to decide whether to keep the photo within a circle or to display the full photo. I'll opt for the full photo option at this moment and adjust the size of the avatar accordingly. After resizing the avatar, the next step is to upload the voice file. Once everything is set up, simply click on Generate to create the video. The video generation is swift, taking only a few seconds to complete. The link for this tool is in the description. Now let's take a moment to review all the videos we've created using different tools. This will give you a chance to compare them side by side and decide which one best meets your needs. If you enjoy this type of content, please hit the like button and subscribe. It supports the channel's growth and enables me to create more content like this. Please share your thoughts in the comments about which video you think looks the best. Your feedback is important as it helps me understand what content is most valuable to you. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.